All right. So if you're using uh, QuickBooks Financial and not using QuickBooks Point of Sale, but you have something similar to a Point of Sale environment, or you go to conferences on the weekend and sell things by hand, um, you know, using written out tickets, uh, and you need to come back in and enter your sales receipt um, to capture the entire weekend's worth of work. Or again, if you're using an outside system besides QuickBooks Point of Sale, and you need to get your sales receipt information into QuickBooks. Okay. So we're, what that starts with is it starts with your items list. You want to make sure you have the right items set up here. All right. So you're going to have, um, since we're just doing summary, we're not, be, we're not going to be tracking inventory parts through here. We're just going to have a couple of uh, items here. We're going to have total sales non-taxable. And if you look at this account here, uh, you can see it's total sales non-taxable, it's marked as non-taxable, and it goes to service sales. Okay. Then you have total sales taxable, total sales taxable, it's marked as tax and it goes to sales merchandise. Then you have also your cash over and short. Okay, so usually I just have one line item for this, but in this demo file there's two. Um, so if you edit this item, it goes to cash discrepancies, overages, and shortages. So you can separate them out on here. Uh, usually I just use over and short as one line item. Then you also have to create the different payment methods that you use. Okay. So American Express payment method, I'm going to edit this, you can see what it looks like, see the type is payment, all right, and uh, it's Amex, and the payment method is Amex, and we're going to group this with other undeposited funds, uh, so that way you can go in and make the deposit after the fact. All right, so we have Amex, cash, check, Visa, MasterCard, Visa, MasterCard usually come together, right? <clears throat> and then you have your different taxes set up. So how do we enter our da daily sales receipt? We're going to go ahead to create sales receipt. All right. And we're going to have a generic customer, daily sales summary. Notice here you can also have other customers, register one, register two, if you wanted to do it on a per register basis, you could do that too. Okay. You choose a class. Class can be one of the stores that you're using this in. All right, so the first item, we're going to say total sales non-taxable, $1,500. Total sales taxable was $1,723,5.42. This is for the whole weekend, right? Then you can put in here <clears throat> um, how much was paid by Amex. Okay, so we're going to say American Express payments were $14,582. Okay, and notice how it takes it as a negative. Because what that's, gonna, what that's is going to do, if we just had saved this, it would have been looking for us to make a deposit somewhere of $18,000. But that's not going to come in as one deposit, right? It's going to come in as American Express is going to make a deposit, Visa, MasterCard, you're going to have your cash deposit, and then you, you know, so there, there's all sorts of different ways that the cash is going to come in. It's not just going to come in one straight deposit. So we're going to go ahead and say we had Visa, MasterCard charges of $3,000 even, and then we received cash of 2532.25. Okay. So the daily sales summary is actually going to be zero. It's going to come out to zero here. But when we go in to make our deposits, these amounts will be there. So I'm going to go ahead and say save and close. All right. So now it's time to record my deposit. So here is my cash, my Amex, and my Visa MasterCard from my daily sales summary that I just created. All right, so we're going to go ahead and first choose Amex, okay. Amex is something a little different, right? They usually take out the uh, 
the merchant service fees as a, you know, during the transaction. So they net out the transaction for you. So what you actually want to do is you want to put merchant fees on the second account line item here, Bayshore store. And uh, if whatever your rate is, it's, I usually go negative 14, 582, whoops, 582 times 0.0325. That's your rate, okay? So now it'll take out the 3.25% that you pay for Amex, and it gives you a deposit subtotal on the bottom, right? Um, so you can say save and close, save and new on this one. It's going to pop up again. So that deposit hit the bank. Then we had our cash deposit hit the bank. We don't, we, we don't need to add anything additional here. Save and new. And we have our Visa MasterCard deposit. Save and new. Okay. So now we recorded our daily sales receipts. We didn't have any cash over and short in there, but if you needed to, you could have a cash over and short right on the sales receipt page here. Let's go back in so you could have an over and short see okay uh, and that's how you enter the daily sales summary